Aladdin Creations. Hi friend, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm not fine. But, why? My father is suffering from strongyloidiasis. What is strongyloidiasis? Strongyloidiasis is a disease caused by a nematode, or a roundworm, in the genus Strongyloids. Though there are over 40 species within this genus that can infect birds, reptiles, amphibians, livestock and other primates. Strongyloid stercoralis is the primary species that accounts for human disease. How do people get infected with strongyloids? Strongyloids is classified as a soil transmitted helminth. Mean. This means that the primary mode of infection is through contact with soil that is contaminated with free-living larvae. When the larvae come in contact with skin, they are able to penetrate it and migrate through the body, eventually finding their way to the small intestine, where they burrow and lay their eggs. Is it different to other soil transmitted helminths? Yes, unlike other soil transmitted helminths, such as hookworm and whipworm, whose eggs do not hatch until they are in the environment. The eggs of strongyloids hatch in the larvae in the intestine. In addition to contact with soil and auto-infection, there have been rare cases of person-to-person -person transmission in organ transplantation, institutions for the developmentally disabled, long-term care facilities and daycare centers. What are the signs and symptoms of strongyloidiasis? The majority of people infected with strongyloids are without symptoms. Those who do develop symptoms tend to have non-specific or generalized complaints. Some examples, please. Some people develop abdominal pain, bloating, heartburn, intermittent episodes of diarrhea and constipation, a dry cough, and rashes. Rarely people will develop arthritis, kidney problems, and heart conditions. How soon after the exposure do symptoms develop? Most people do not know when their exposure occurred. For those who do, a local rash can occur immediately. The cough usually occurs several days later. Abdominal symptoms typically occur approximately two weeks later, and larvae can be found in the stool about three to four weeks later. What should I do if I think I might have strongyloidiasis? See your health care provider. How is infection with strongyloids diagnosed? Strongyloids is classically diagnosed by visualization of larvae on microscopic stool examination. This may require that you provide multiple stool samples to your doctor or the laboratory. Some laboratories are capable of diagnosing strongyloids with blood tests. How is strongyloidiasis treated? Safe and effective drugs are available to treat infection with strongyloids. Thanks God, how can strongyloidiasis be prevented? The best way to prevent strongyloids infection is to wear shoes when you are walking on soil and to avoid contact with fecal matter or sewage. Proper sewage disposal and fecal management are keys to prevention. For more videos please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.